Hey guys, what's up? Pokey Gems back from the studio. Guys, I haven't done this for a while, but let's continue with the videos that we were making a few months ago helping you guys grow on TikTok. Guys, in this short video, I'm going to point out the four most important things that you need to be doing, or maybe you're not already doing, or maybe you're doing a few of them, but not doing all of them to help you guys grow on TikTok. Guys, I've helped so many people in the past and I've seen people go from literally 100 followers to 1,000 followers in less than a month. Just trust me, guys. If you implement these four simple things in what you're doing on TikTok, I can almost guarantee you, you will grow huge uh, on your channel. So let's do this, guys. Let's go with the first one. The first one is if you are a brand new TikToker, you need to find your niche, which basically means what are you good at? Let's say, for example, like my niche on TikTok is art. So mainly, I would say 99% of the videos of the posts that I do have something to do with art. Now, I do stray away from that sometimes every so often, but I kind of keep with that niche, which means that if I've got a ton of followers uh, and I have people watching my channel because they like my art, I'm not going to all of a sudden one day say, let me start posting videos on teaching you guys how to, I don't know, change tires on a car or teaching you guys how to make things out of wood or whatever it may be, right? Because there's nothing wrong with that. But if you've started with a certain niche, you've got to stick to it. Now, when it comes to that, um, and I've talked to different people about this, we found that the best way to do this is implement the 20 by 20 rule. Now, what's the 20 by 20, you might ask? I say try to make 20 videos in 20 days, which is basically three weeks out of your life. Create 20 videos in the niche that you like and see how it goes. So let's say, for example, you started with 100 followers. If you went on 20 days and you created 20 videos and not one of those videos got more than, I don't know, let's say a couple dozen views then clearly maybe that is not the niche for you or there's something that you need to change. And let's say one or two of those 20 videos got pretty big. Let's say hypothetically you got a thousand views on a certain video. Go into your analytics on your phone, on the TikTok account and see what it is about that video. Like of the 20 videos, one of my videos got big. What is it about that video? Is it maybe the music that I chose? Is it the hashtags that I chose? Is it the content itself? Is it maybe that video was a little bit longer than all my other ones? Or maybe it was a little bit shorter. You know, maybe all my videos were exactly one minute long and that one was similar, but I was able to do that in 20 seconds. Maybe that's what your fans are looking for. So try to basically pinpoint down to what is it about that specific video that made it work. Because guys, the way that the TikTok algorithm or the TikTok computer, the way that that works is when you push out a new video, what it will do is it will give that video, it will push that video to, let's say, hypothetically 50 people. And then the computer will decide whether it should push your video further depending on what those first 50 viewers did. So let's say you did a brand new video, it pushed it out to 50 people, and let's just say it was a one minute video and all 50 of those people didn't watch more than 10 seconds, which means that it just did not catch the interest of any of those people. Then clearly it means that there just was something about that video that it was not worth TikTok pushing out. But let's say on the other hand, you put, they gave it to 50 people and of those 50, let's say even half of those people watched it all the way to the end. Let's say even some of them maybe commented on the video. Some of them shared that video. Some of them even put it into their favorites. TikTok's computer or TikTok's algorithm automatically knows and it says, oh, this is a good video. Let's push it out to the next batch of people. So then what they will do is they will take and push that out to from 50. Let's say they'll go to 500. And again, those same steps start over again. Once they push it out to 500, they're going to see what are those 500 people doing. And then you might see a slight drop in the video because maybe that next batch of people didn't want to watch your video. Or let's say hypothetically that they did. And again, the algorithm worked. Then they're going to keep pushing it further and further and further until you get, you know, what we call a viral video. And maybe it'll get to like a million people or so. Um, I believe there is a break 
at, I want to say, I think 10,000 views where they will actually go through it frame by frame. A computer will go through it just to make sure that it everything in the video is according to their safety guidelines. Um, there's a different video, guys. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and post it right there. Check out this video right here, guys, when you get a chance after this one. This one talks a little bit more about the safety guidelines, things that you should do and things that you should not do when posting a video on TikTok. So like I said, what they will do after roughly 10,000 is they will look at it one by one just to make sure that it reaches all the safety uh, things. And if they find something that that is not right in the video, they might actually delete the video for you. Um, and then I believe once it hits, I think it's 100,000, then there's actually a physical team of people that watch the video, not only a computer, watch the video, see what it is, see what's in the background of the video, just to make sure there's nothing in there that is illegal, uh, unsafe, something against the community guidelines, as they call it, before they push it on to the, you know, 1 million and 10 million views and so on and so forth. So. So that's basically the first thing, guys. That is the first thing is find your niche and stick with it. Here's the second item. The second item is, guys, be consistent. So let's say you found your niche. Okay, let us let me use my example again. I am an artist. I found my niche. I like art. Clearly, it's working. I have people that are watching my videos. I have many videos that go on the For You page, so on and so forth. Be consistent, guys. I've seen so many people on the in the past make a great video. The video does very well. It gets thousands of views. It gets on the For You page. And then they're like, yeah, I don't feel like doing this anymore. And then they'll, they'll pop out another video three weeks later or two months later. Guys, again, going back to the TikTok algorithm, the TikTok computer will not push out people like that because they look for consistency. If you are a person that posts a video one every single day, that's exactly what they're going to look for. They're going to look, are you posting every single day? Are you a person that posts once every week? Maybe you're a person that posts once every month, but guys, be consistent. In the beginning, my rule of thumb, I would say, I would say at least, I mean, one a day is like the super minimum minimum. If you can post two or three videos a day, every single day, that's really when, you're see, when you will see your channel start to grow. So consistency, guys, is number two. Number three, guys, is the actual information. So let's say you're be, you found your niche, you're being consistent, now, how do I post videos? What are What's important in those videos? First thing is the time. Don't make those videos too short and don't make them too long. Too short means usually anything under 15 seconds is considered too short. I mean, unless it's one of those very rare ones that's like a super amazing video. Um, there are some out there that are only six or seven seconds long, but usually guys, you'll see the, the videos that are on the For You page being longer. Um, the whole goal of TikTok, the whole goal of the TikTok algorithm is to keep the viewer um, hooked into their platform, right? And be, keeping you hooked means that if they've got a person that's sitting there on the platform for 45 seconds or 60 seconds as opposed to 10 seconds, eventually they can push out more advertising and more things to you if you're there for one minute rather than the person that's there for 10 seconds. So find that perfect amount of time uh, when you are posting your video. Number two is your hashtags. Hashtags are important, guys. Whatever you're doing, find the hashtags that are working. Um, what I've done in the past and what I think works very well is, again, let's say I'm an artist. I'll put in a certain hashtag like art or TikTok art or art of the day. Hit enter and then find those videos that have gotten those 100,000 or million or 2 million views and see what hashtags those people have used because clearly whatever they did works, right? So kind of it's, it's not saying go into other people's videos and copy them but at the same time you need to see what's working what hashtags are trending you know that's that's another thing you want to do is when you go in and you're making your video and you hit the hashtag uh, thing on top there it will show you exactly what's trending you know usually usually the items that are trending are kind of the things that are the big things going on in the world at that time so Take advantage of that, guys. See what's trending. See what's trending this week. Not what was trending two weeks ago. Uh, not what was trending a month ago. What is trending right now? Jump on those trends and use those. Um, speaking of trends, the other, the kind of the third thing, uh, the third bullet point in this point is what kind of sound will you use? I mean, some of you guys do videos where there is no sound. You know, let's say you're doing a description or, or you're doing something else. That's fine. 
but most videos, most viral videos have a sound. Once again, figure out what sound you want to do, what sounds are trending. You know, you can also go into your analytics and there is a part on the bottom that shows your followers, you know, where are your followers from, you know, whether they're male, female, age group, so on and so forth. And it will actually tell you what sounds are your followers listening to. So why not jump on that? If you know that your followers like a certain song, hey, use that song because obviously you're going to get more of a chance that they're going to watch your video if it's a song that they like rather than something that, you know, maybe they've never heard and they'll just click off. So that's kind of the last, the, the, the third point of that. And then the last point of this one is your cover picture. Guys, keep in mind or ask yourself how many times have I been on TikTok and I clicked on a certain video just because they had a cool cover picture, right? I mean, if you're doing art, for example, some people love to start with the cover picture being that art when it's already finished. And some people are like, wow, that looks so cool. Now I really want to watch this because I want to see how he did it. Or some people start out with kind of their cover picture is like the main thing that happened in a video. You know, let's say you're Let's say you're posting a really funny video of your dog, right? And at what one second was the funniest part of the video? Use that as your cover picture. And then that's what will attract the person, you know, to watch the entire video. So that is very important, guys, because that's kind of like the that's kind of like the hallmark or the first thing that the person will see, you know, before they actually click on your video and watch the entire video. So guys, just to reiterate, um, before I go on to the last one, because this last one is the most important, guys, number one is your niche, number two is be consistent, number three is the information, and number four, guys, this is the most important one, guys, react to your fans. Guys, in the beginning, make sure you go in, read those comments that your fans are, are giving you guys. Um, react. If somebody gave you a comment, go in there and say, hey, thank you so much. Or somebody might ask you a question. Go in there and answer their question. Go in there. Go even check out their videos. Guys, I remember in the beginning, I used to love checking out, and I still do actually. I still love to look at fans. You know, who, who are my fans? I go into their accounts like their videos, check out their videos, answer their questions. Guys, if you react to your fans, if you answer their questions, you know, they're going to be more prone to watch your videos because you're going to get almost like a little fan base going where you guys are talking to each other. You know, you're going to go live one day. Once you're once you have a thousand followers, you can go live, which, by the way, guys, there is another video. Check out this video right here, guys. When you're done with this, this one talks about how to go live on TikTok awesome thing to do guys i've been going live personally for about the last four months i absolutely love it the algorithm loves it um that's where i talk to my fans that's where we talk about giveaways that's where we talk about what's happening in the future so really really guys talk to your fans react to them and kind of build a little community together and then you'll see your channel grow so guys that is the that is what you got to do number one find your niche figure out what you're good at number two if that niche is working stay consistent in that niche number three is the actual information that you're posting you know your hashtags your picture what are you posting in your video the time and number four guys is react to your fans read those comments like those comments answer Guys, trust me, I really think if you implement, if you do those four things, I can almost guarantee you um, that your TikTok channel will grow. Guys, if you like this video, if you want to see more that are similar, please hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. Guys, I basically have two parts of this channel. Number one is this little section right here, which is helping you guys grow on TikTok. And number two is my art, guys. So if you get a chance, we're going to grow together, guys. So help me grow this YouTube channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up, guys. Give me a like. Watch the other videos. And uh, if you like this, if I see you guys liking this, I will continue to do these. Anytime that there's updates, that TikTok has updates, you know, in the algorithm or monthly updates, I will update you guys with these short videos on YouTube. Thank you again so much, guys. And I will definitely see you guys on the next video.